Meg and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be a fun idea to show you all my jewellery collection because I've been watching quite a few of these videos on YouTube and I've been really into my jewellery at the moment. I've been buying a lot more jewellery than usual and I think I've got quite a lot of jewellery. I just thought it would be a fun idea to show you guys where I buy my jewellery from and what kind of style I like in jewellery, stuff like that. I'll be putting the prices and where they're from on the screen and I'll try and link as many of the pieces as possible in the description. A lot of these pieces I bought like quite a long time ago so they may not necessarily be made anymore but I'll try and link as much as possible. None of my jewellery is like expensive jewellery, it's all like fast fashion jewellery. I also have a lot of sterling silver pieces as well so I kind of have a mix of the two. I'd say my favourite type of jewellery is gold because I just feel like it goes with a lot more but then it really just depends on the outfit and what I'm feeling that day. Some gold pieces may look better with some outfits and some silver pieces may look better with other outfits. It's just what I feel and I like to mix it up every now and then as well. I'm going to do this video in sections so I'm going to start with rings, bracelets, necklaces and earrings. So I will put timestamps on the screen if you want to see a specific section. I'd rather you watch the whole thing but if you want to, all the timestamps are here of where the sections start. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with the ring that I'm wearing right now. I actually have it on upside down, it's fine. This is my Roman numeral gold ring. I bought this off Indigo Loon and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. But I actually bought this recently and it came last week. I think this is so nice. Uh, it is stainless steel, so I don't know how long it will last, but apparently I've heard that they last quite a long time. This wasn't that pricey either. I think it was quite reasonable. I just think it's so pretty. Like it's quite dainty, but then like trendy at the same time. You know what I mean? I actually bought two of the Roman numeral rings because I didn't know what size I was. So I bought an extra small and a small. Uh, the small ended up fitting me, uh, but I didn't really know what to do with this one. So I'm using it as like a finger topper but it still looks really pretty as a finger topper so yeah literally the exact same ring just different sizes i also have the matching bracelet to it but i'll get to that in a second so this is where i keep all of my rings i keep them on this cactus jewelry holder i do eventually want to get a ring organizer but for now this is fine okay i don't really know where to start because Okay, so first of one is this feather ring from Accessorize. My nan actually bought me this when we went shopping one time and I love this. I think it's so pretty. It's very boho, it's very dainty as well. I quite like how it looks like a band from a distance and then if you look up close, it's quite detailed. This is sterling silver, so it will last a really long time. And I wear this quite a lot. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Next is this elephant ring from Accessorize as well. Accessorize do really good jewelry. It's very dainty jewelry. It's good quality and it's quite reasonably priced and they do last quite a while as well. Yeah, I just love this. There's not really much to say about it, but it's really cute. And I don't think this was too much either. I bought this about a year ago, so fairly recent, but a little bit older. <laughs> So this one I bought in France for five euros. It was really, really cheap. Uh, I bought it at this market. It basically looks like an engagement ring. Obviously it's not, but yeah, I never wore it. I just, I don't know why. I just like the look of it and I bought it. Uh, never wore it in my life. To be honest, I don't think this is sterling silver, but it's barely rusted. Like I've had this for about since year six <laughs> and it's barely rusted either. So I think this has lasted quite a long time. This was a Christmas present from my parents and they bought this in Winter Wonderland at one of the markets. It's a shame because I used to wear this quite a lot, but it's fully rusted now. It has this like purple stone in the middle and I just think it's really pretty. I'm gonna try and look for another one to like replace this. Let me know if there are any places that sell these type of rings. Okay, now let's move on to the gold rings. These three came in a set from Topshop. They're quite a boho set as well. I bought these last year and they're really nice. Like all these stacked on each other. Look how cool that looks. Next, I just have a simple gold band finger topper. Uh, I think that's what these are called anyway. Really don't know where this is from, but you could probably find these anywhere. Again, really boho, really cute, add a lot. I guess you would call this my double ganger of the Pandora rings. I bought this last year in a department store. It was like Debenhams, but it wasn't Debenhams. It's basically rose gold and it has a silver stone in the middle. I think these were birthstones and this is like June or something. I don't know. I don't know what the birthstone colors are, but I think this is really pretty. I don't wear it too often, but when I do, it's really nice. I'd say this is this was about £10, something like that. And this has lasted quite a while as well. I don't really know what the material it's made out of is called, but it's not tarnished and it still looks really good. These came as a three and these are from Topshop, I think. I genuinely can't remember. They're basically chunky style band rings. I kind of mainly stick to the good 
three rings within this collection. And that is it for the rings. There's not many and there's not really much to talk about with the rings. So now let's move on to the bracelets. I literally have about three, four bracelets to show you. First one is this one. This is from Indigo Loon and this is the matching bracelet to my ring. I'll put a little close up on the screen of what this looks like, but it's basically just a gold Roman numeral bangle. And I absolutely love how this clasps. This clasps, this looks quite expensive as well, which I really like. It was about 16 pounds. So it's quite affordable again. On the website, they say that this is made out of a stainless steel. So they do last quite a while. I love this. I think it's so pretty. And it came in this really cute bag as well. So yeah, I definitely recommend looking at Indigo Lane for bracelets and rings. This is a marble and gemstone bracelet. This is like a bangle and it just kind of you know, slots on like that. These don't last very long, I feel, because the metal gets bent quite a bit, it doesn't really keep its form a lot. So I don't get a chance to wear this because of how flimsy it is. But for a quick, like, festival, whatever, these are really pretty and I really like them. Again, this is from, like, Topshop, River Island, somewhere like that. This is a rose gold kind of stretch bracelet. I bought this two years ago and it actually looks quite nice on, like, from a distance. Yeah, it stretches as well, which I quite like. This has kind of scratched a little bit, but not a lot, considering it's not real gold or real silver. I think this is stainless steel. This is probably stainless steel, if anything. But yeah, this has lasted quite a long time. The last of my bracelets I have to show you is this palm leaf one from Topshop. I think you could wear this as an anklet as well, but this is really nice. It's quite beachy as well, and I quite like the loose chain as well. So it kind of just hangs off you, but it doesn't come off. Just has a little palm leaf on it. I think it's cute, simple. Okay, now moving on to Nexus, my favourite section. Let's start with the one that I'm wearing. So this is from Shein. I was I was so shocked when I found this on Shein. I paid about three pound for this. Really so so cheap and it's basically just the birthplate necklace that I got 2002 because that was the year I was born. I don't know how long it will last but for three pound you really can't complain and it looks really pretty as well like it looks you know like a decent quality necklace. So yeah I definitely recommend going on to Shein and getting yourself one of these because I think they're worth the three pound that you pay. Okay so all my necklaces I store on this hanger organizer thing. This is a recent purchase. I ordered this off Urban Outfitters and it came in about three days ago. And it's this really pretty gold chain necklace with like a gold rose pendant on the end. I quite like the thickness of the chain, how it's like noticeable. I also love the pendant as well. It's black, it's got a gold rose and star. I paid about £12 for this, which I don't think is too bad either. For fast fashion jewellery, that is the average cost that you would pay for it. I actually bought this yesterday when I went into TK Maxx. So this is from the brand Alexa and Tori, and it is the sterling silver double hooped necklace. This is how it looks. I like how it's kind of got like a hexagon circle and then a twisted chain circle. And this was quite cheap as well. This was £13 that I paid for this. I haven't actually got a necklace in this style, but I think it's really cute and dainty. And it's pretty. I love it. So this is a three layered necklace and this has quite like boho chains on it. So it has this kind of little choker style one, a wishbone and this coin pendant. Guess where this is from? Primark and I've worn it quite a lot and it is so pretty. I love the chain on the end necklace. It's a small twisted chain but I just feel that adds such a lot to it and I think I paid about five, four or five pounds for this. I have quite a lot of layered necklaces because I always see a necklace that I like but I never know that they're layered so I imagine them all being like individual necklaces but just a set of three. I feel like three layered necklaces don't get enough credit. I don't know. I feel like not a lot of people wear them. This is another layered necklace, but this is a four layered necklace and it's just got a bunch of coins on it. I love this as well. I think this is from Topshop, like this layered. It's just so pretty. I love it. I figured let's just show all the layered necklaces now. <laughs> okay, so here is the next layered necklace. This is from Topshop and it's four layered. We have a thick chain as a choker. We have this medium flat pearl necklace, a longer flat pearl necklace and then a smaller chain at the bottom. This is the one that I wear the most out of them all and I think it's really cool. It's really pretty, I love this. Goes with a lot and it looks nice as well, adds a lot. 
Okay, I think that's all the layered necklaces that I have. Yeah, I have this long gold chain sunflower necklace from Shein. And this was about three pound. Really affordable, really cheap. And it just has a pretty sunflower on it. It has like different adjustments as well and a longer chain. I don't know if this is meant as like a accent piece once you've tightened it or if these are actual loops to tighten your necklace. I'm not too sure yet. Again, Shein, Shein's jewelry is really good. Like, I definitely recommend it for like quick jewelry. Here is a thick fishbone chain, I think this is called, with a massive crystal at the bottom. This is from River Island, I think. Uh, I bought this about three years ago. I don't really wear these type of necklaces, maybe for a festival. I absolutely love this type of chain. I just think it's so nice. And as a choker, I'm looking for a choker with this type of chain. So if you know anywhere that sell them, let me know. I have another long gold chain necklace with a marble cube at the end. This is from Topshop, I think. I don't really know because Topshop's quite easy because they have the freedom tag, so you know if it's Topshop or not. But I don't know if their older stuff had the tag, so I'm not too sure. This was either Topshop or River Island, somewhere like that. Here is another long gold chain necklace. I used to apparently love gold, long gold chain necklaces. I actually wore this to my Shawn Mendes concert last year. This is from Topshop and it's just got a hand doing like the the rock symbol. And I actually love this. I do wear this quite a bit still now. It's got a thin chain, which I quite like. I like chains like this with like little pendants on the end. Next is one of my favorite necklaces that I've recently bought. I bought this from Urban Outfitters. So it's a thick, rusty chain choker. It's meant to have like a distressed look on the metal. And I absolutely love how you open and close it, literally just with a bar. I feel it makes it look quite different in a way. It's quite heavy as well. Like this is, a hefty chain. This isn't sterling silver or anything, but it looks so nice when it's on and it literally hugs your neck so nicely. I definitely recommend getting this from Urban Outfitters. It's so cool. I love it. This I've worn it almost every day since I bought it. This is another one of my favorite necklaces that I bought recently. I bought this from a garden center. I think it was, I can't remember what garden center it was, but it's a sterling silver necklace with these stars on the end and stars, butterflies, and chains are really on trend at the moment when it comes to jewelry and these i just think are so pretty i paid about 14 pounds for this it's sterling silver you know it will last quite a while and it's really pretty as well this is actually my last layered necklace that i own this is from I can't remember where this is from. I bought this recently. I can't remember. I genuinely can't remember, but it's silver and it has three necklaces. So it has a small heart choker. It has a long, thickish chain and then it has a lock on the end. Again, I love this. I've worn this quite a bit as well. Here's a thin necklace from Topshop. I really like this. It's basically a gold triangle with this green kind of pearly gem on it. Again, very boho, very pretty. This is actually one of my favorite necklaces. So this is from Topshop and it is a gold fortune cookie. Uh, yes, you heard me right, it is gold, but it's not gold anymore. <laughs> Where I've worn this so much, it's turned silver. I think this is definitely the last stage before it starts tarnishing, but I think this is really cute as well. I like simple. Uh, this actually has a knot in the chain, which is really annoying. This is from Not On The High Street. Uh, and it has a, again, this is a birthstone, but it's not my birthstone. Uh, this is April's or something, but I love the little like pendant, but the chain itself is actually kind of rusted a bit. So it's not silver anymore, it's copper. So I want to get a new chain for this, but I really like the pendant itself. I think it's really pretty. If you watch my most recent video of testing out Xi'an clothing, then you would have seen this in the haul. This is a butterfly and star choker that I got from Shein for three pounds. Very, very affordable. Uh, the one thing that I didn't mention in the video is because when I went to wear it, the clasp actually broke off because it felt really weak when I put it on naturally uh, and it just broke. So I did take another clasp from another necklace and put this on that. But apart from the clasp, it is a very pretty necklace and it feels like a normal kind of durity of a necklace. Durity, durability. I don't know if that's even the right word you'd use for jewelry, but whatever. Butterflies are just bent bits of metal and there's little stars on it as well. Shein's jewelry is very good for like quick, fast fashion jewelry. I know I've already mentioned that, but go ahead. You know how I mentioned I love elephants? Well, I have another piece of jewelry related to elephants. I love this. Uh, sadly, the actual elephant itself is starting to kind of rust, but this is a elephant charm necklace. This is a really cute necklace from Accessorize. Uh, this, they did say this was sterling silver, so 
I don't know why it's starting to tarnish. This might have been sterling silver. I can't really remember. <laughs> I really wish this elephant wasn't hollow because it's just metal bent into an elephant. I wish it was an actual like physical elephant, like in like this form where it was like a, a solid thing and not just a hollow thing. Oh my God, I have another layered necklace. Wow, I didn't even realize how many layered necklaces I have. This is a three layered silver chain necklace. So we just have the normal, I don't really know what type of chain this is. I'm not up to scratch with my jewelry knowledge. We have like a link chain and then this one with, is this a, it's either a horseshoe, upside down crescent moon. I don't know. This is very dainty. I don't wear this enough. I forgot I had this, to be honest. Love this. I'm gonna start wearing this more often. I'm not a big fan of rose gold in jewelry. I don't know. I, I don't buy rose gold jewelry a lot. I think it's because whenever I have bought rose gold jewelry, it's tarnished a lot quicker than gold or the silver would. But the only rose gold jewelry that I actually have in necklace form is this set of three. They're not layered, they're individual. So you have a small circle, a medium circle, which is matte, and then a big circle, which is shiny. The small one started to tarnish, but the other two are holding up quite well. These two I've worn a lot more than I have the small one. So the next necklace, so the next necklace is this. Uh, I got this from Walt Disney World and I love this necklace. It's actually a set, so. So here's the necklace itself. It is a sterling silver chain with a Swarovski crystal Mickey Mouse head at the bottom. I love this necklace. I wear this a lot. I love it so much. I think it's really dainty and I quite like how Mickey's head is quite small. And it just reminds me of my trip to Disney and I love Disney a lot. So I wear this necklace a lot. And it also comes with a set of matching earrings as well. I haven't worn the earrings yet, but, but I'm planning to. I also love the box as well. Like look how cute the box is. So next necklace is from Chappelle. I've had this for over five years. I'm not sure exactly, but over five years. Uh, and this was actually a wedding gift from my auntie who was getting married. And because I was her bridesmaid, she bought me a little gift. Uh, the box is, <laughs> it's seen better days. Anyway, this is what the necklace looks like. It's sterling silver and it just has love. And I love these, um, <laughs> love gonna. And I love these type of the word necklaces. <sighs> the box is literally falling apart. <laughs> we are nearly at the end. I. I think this is the last necklace. Yes, it is. And this is the last necklace. It's a gold knotted choker. I feel this is quite a beachy necklace. It's cute, it's pretty affordable as well. Okay, now it's time to move on to the final category, which is earrings. So I'm gonna show you the earrings I'm wearing now and then I'll show you the rest of them as we go on. I only have my normal earlobes pierced. I don't have any double piercings. I do kind of want to get a second piercing here. So these are the earrings that I'm wearing. They are these thick gold chunky hoop. Uh, I bought these yesterday in TK Maxx and these are by the brand Darberg slash Kern. Darberg and Kern. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I don't really know how you pronounce the name of the company but this is the brand and I got these for really cheap. So the original price of these are £35 but I got these for $5.99 I got these for, which is really affordable. So if you go into TK Maxx and you do find these, definitely get them because I think they're so nice. They're really simple as well and I feel they add a lot to an outfit and they're quite classy as well. I haven't got any hoops either and I've been looking for hoops for quite a while as well. So these just came in at like the perfect time. So six pound hoops. Can't really complain. And next pair of things I have are from the brand Indulgence. Uh, I bought these recently. Uh, and they are basically, and they are little gold slash rose goldy diamondy butterflies. <laughs> that was a great description I just gave. I think these are so pretty as well. I haven't had a chance to wear them because I did buy them recently. Uh, and these were £10 by the way, if you're interested. Whenever I buy earrings, I never really take them out of the packaging. I used to, but I've recently started saving the packaging that they come in and just using it as their organizer because I feel if you put them in a tray, they get muddled up, rub against each other. They tarnish a lot quicker, I feel. Where if you keep them like these, they're organized. So these are from Freedom, AKA. 
Topshop and I love these earrings. I wear the stars the most, but they're just these small gold hoop earrings with little charms on the end. I got these in the sale. The original price of these is £12.50, but I definitely got these in the sale. And the last earrings I have to show you is this set from H&M. I don't wear earrings a lot. I just kind of forget I have my ears pierced, so I don't really wear them a lot. But when I do wear them, I just wear like small dainty ones. And this set from H&M, you know, they're pretty. Uh, the ones I wear the most out of these are the moons hexagons, circles. So this is how they look. These were £8.99 for the whole set. And that is my jewellery collection. I'm looking for new storage for all of my jewellery. So if you do have... I am looking for new storage for my jewellery. So if you do have any suggestion or any stores that have good storage or anything like that, please let me know in the comments because that would really help me out. I've been trying to look forever and I just can't find anything anywhere. And that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I am going to be filming a Q&A soon. So please leave your questions in the comments and I will answer them. If you have any specific video requests that you want me to film, I will happily do them. If you do want to follow me on Instagram, it is at MegMogXX, which is my personal, and then my YouTube Instagram, which is at something about Meg. I also have these fun accounts, Meg Arts, where I show my art, and Aesthetic Bubbles, where I just post pretty things. <laughs> Go ahead and follow them if you want to. I'll leave the links in the description. If you have any questions on where specific stuff is and I haven't linked it in the description, then feel free to comment and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and bye.